my tutorial for a pastel Christmas snow globe tumbler. To start, I'll be prepping my tumbler with an 80 grit sanding block and wiping with 91% alcohol. Then I'll be ready to apply my Christmas ornament stencils from Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica is currently having a Christmas in July event where they are offering free bundles every day until July 31st. If you're not yet a member, check out the description box down below for a link to try Creative Fabrica out for free. When I was finished adding my ornament stencils, I spray painted the tumbler with Color Shots Farmer's Daughter and Island Girl. I neglected to show myself spray painting the colors, but if you'd like to see me spray painting a similar painted ombre, I'll post a link to my patriotic themed snow globe tutorial in the upper right hand corner of your screen. For my glitter application, I'll be using Southern Belle Glitter Foil Glue and applying two coats. I found that when applying two coats, the glitter actually gets better coverage or you get better coverage with your glitter and I only have to do one layer of glitter instead of two if I want I feel like I'm saying coverage a lot but if you want really good coverage with your glitter do two coats of the foil glue normally for the tacket method you use the actual tacket glue but this foil glue has worked extremely well for me tacket glue and I we're, we're not on speaking terms <laughs> When I was all finished glittering, I sealed my glitter with Krylon Triple Thick before removing the stencils. Remember, do it before you remove the stencils and then after it was dry, I took the stencils off. I sealed this glitter layer with epoxy, then I was ready to add my outlines. The ornament file I used from Creative Fabrica did not come with the outlines included, so you'll have to make an offset in Cricut or Silhouette. I personally used Adobe Illustrator.
So I wanted the look of falling snow or snow falling, falling snow, it's the same thing. So <laughs> yes, extra glitter. I know, I know extra glitter. I mean, you don't have to, you never have to add extra glitter if you don't want to, but you should do it. Do it, just do it, do it. <laughs> this is the glitter mix we created when we made the Hello Winter Snow Globes last week, not last week, two weeks ago. So if you missed it, I'll post a link to, to the tutorial in the upper hand corner of your screen if you'd like to check it out. Let this layer cure, and then we'll be ready to fill our snow globes and seal them. And I must confess, I wanted a pretty chunky gold glitter, and I came across Chanel from PDB back in a dusty corner on my glitter shelf. And y'all, I, I have been sleeping on Chanel. If you don't have it, get it. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm sure you've noticed, I'm kind of, I'm gonna be kind of speeding through the filling and sealing process. If you'd like to see a longer version with me explaining what I'm doing in more detail, I'll post a link to another one of my tutorials. It's the very first snow globe tumbler tutorial in the upper hand, right? Oh my, why well, can't, I can't talk today. <laughs> in the upper right hand corner of your screen if you'd like to watch it. For my decal, I went simple, and I used the same decal that I used on the stainless steel version of this design. If you'd like to see that tutorial, I'll post the link to it in the description box down below. After I applied my last coat of epoxy, last coat fam, last coat, I decided this design needed something extra. So I added some rhinestones. You don't have to, like you, for this you really don't have to. I have a lot of rhinestones collecting dust, so I need to use them when I can. The ones I used are from my rhinestone tumbler days, so the label was completely gone. It was like rubbed off. You couldn't even see where or who I got it from. But Suzanne at PDB has similar rhinestones to the ones I used. I'll link them down below. Remember, if you do decide to do this, it has to be your last coat of epoxy. If you cover your stones with epoxy, they'll lose all that sparkle. These are my last two snow globe tumblers, you guys. I'm kind of sad to go back to stainless steel next week, but never fear. These snow globe designs will be popping up again. I need one for New Year's and <laughs> Valentine's Day. It's water talk, y'all. Blame water talk. <laughs> That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. A huge thank you to all of my mentorship and channel members. Your support is literally everything. Have fun making your pastel Christmas snow globe tumblers, and I'll see you again next time.